actually was opposed to going to the United Nations at all. He had resisted this in the case of Junagadh, and he had resisted this in the case of Hyderabad as well. And his logic was a logic of very basic realism, that India should not submit such issues to the judgment and to the interests of other powers. Sadly, sadly for all of us and for our nation, this caution was disregarded. And India, lulled by a sense of false internationalism, was set up by the United Kingdom, ably assisted at that time by Belgium, Canada and the United States. What began as the Jammu and Kashmir question was conveniently changed to the India-Pakistan question, putting the two of them at par with each other. And with all the attendant implications, it took us a quarter century thereafter to settle the matter. Other than the misreading of world politics, there was an equally serious misjudgment of Pakistan by India. Within our system, Patel was the most forceful advocate of using all avenues of pressure on that country after the invasion of Jammu and Kashmir. His reluctance to take the matter to the UN itself stemmed from the belief that Pakistan was better directly, it was better to deal directly with Pakistan rather than in a framework that would allow Pakistan to manipulate. His own approach in regard to refugee handling and rehabilitation issues in the country also said much about his attitude to nationalist forces. Sardar Patel recognized that those who truly responded to the crisis should be supported without allowing politics to color his assessment. Today, we may be tempted to speculate what Sardar Patel's approach would have been to Pakistan-related issues that came up in the decade after his passing away. For example, would he have extended his support to the Indus Waters Treaty of 1960? Or dismissed it like the then Prime Minister as an issue just about a pail full of water, pail full of water that was negligible in the context of larger international politics? All right. External Affairs Minister being uh, amply clear when it comes to India's stand on Pakistan is concerned. Shrinjoy, that means Pakistan continues to be the rogue nation and the talks and terror cannot go hand in hand, amply being made clear by India on several occasions. And especially when it comes to the upcoming visit of Dr. S. J. Shankar to Pakistan doesn't mean that India would be engaging with Pakistan. Yes. First of all, as I said, this visit is for an SCO conference, which just happens to be in Pakistan. Secondly, the three things Jaishankar has said. First, of course, he's raised the issue of terrorism, how terrorism is being used as an instrument of foreign policy. Secondly, he has said that some countries in the West have turned the Kashmir problem, which he said is a bilateral issue and has nothing to do with any other country. And this is something Pakistan has accepted uh, during the Shimla agreement, that certain countries in the West assumed that the Kashmir issue was an India-Pakistan issue. That's the other important point. So what Jaishankar is saying is that India's position has not changed. Counter-terrorism is a big issue. Until terrorism ends, we don't see any chance of dialogue. Now, if that is so, then, as I had said at the beginning, his visit to Pakistan just happens to be because of the fact that the SCO conference, of which Russia, China, many of these Central um, Asian countries, Iran, are part, happens to be in Pakistan. 
But uh, Shrinjoy, what about those leaders in the opposition who seems to be hopeful now, saying that uh, if he's going there, that means there could be possible engagements beyond the SCO? That we'll have to see. If there is a bilateral, if there is a calling on, we don't know as yet. As of now, there are, the External Affairs Ministry has not said that there will be a bilateral with the Foreign Minister of Pakistan. There is not any statement about whether there will be a calling on Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif. None of that has been said by the MEA. If that happens, then that's a secondary thing. That we will see. That's a bridge that will be crossed later. But as of now, there are no reports, no indications of any bilateral meetings with the Pakistani side. Absolutely. And uh, even at uh, the United Nations, as we are looking at uh, the external affairs minister himself, making it amply clear when it comes to India's stand, because uh, just before that, it was the Pakistani prime minister who was speaking. And once again, the old record of Kashmir that was being played on the abrogation of Article 370. However, the entire statement was turned down by India at the United Nations. However, India and its delegation only going to represent the country as Pakistan this time is hosting the SCO. This month. Uh, and that is for a meeting of the SCO, uh, SCO heads of government. Normally, Prime Minister goes to the, to the higher level meeting, the heads of state. Uh, and uh, one of us, it, it changes usually one of the ministers goes for the heads of government meeting. So that's in line with the tradition. It so happens that the meeting is taking place in Pakistan because like us, they, they are a relatively recent member. So your question, uh, I think, as I understood it was, am I planning for it? Of course I'm planning for it. I mean, I, when, you know, in my business, you plan for everything which you're going to do and for a lot of things which you're not going to do and which could happen also. I mean, you plan for that as well. Uh, so uh, I, uh, you know, uh, expect there would be a lot of uh, media interest because the very nature of the relationship is such, and I, I think we'll we'll deal with it. But I do want to say it will be for a multilateral event. I mean, I'm not going there to discuss India-Pakistan relations. I'm going there to uh, to be a good member of the SCO. But you know, since I'm a courteous and civil person, I will behave myself uh, accordingly. <laughs> so. Uh, on the so the external affairs minister, Dr. S. J. Shankar, would be leading the Indian delegation being part of uh, in Islamabad for this two-day event, which is being hosted by Pakistan as far as the SEO is concerned. Back after a short break.